Yo, what's going on guys? Gonna be playing some Trindamir Jungle. Gonna be showing you how I like to carry on it. It's pretty fun. There's two main ways you can carry on it. One is with Bork Rush. This is best against tanky champs. They're honestly not tanky, so I think Experimental on Hexplate is a much better option. It gives you lots of movement speed when you pop R. It gives lots of attack speed when you pop R for 8 seconds. It gives you 80 attack speed and health as well. So, very strong item at only 3,000 gold. Very cost effective. After Experimental on Hexplate, we can look to go for a Kraken Slayer into Phantom Dancer. Once again, Bork is still a great item option. But if they're not particularly tanky, there's really no point of going for it. Uh, I think I'd like to get for my bot lane. Bot or top looks viable. The thing is, Darius has Flash and Ghost, so... Not sure how well that one's going to pan out for us. You can auto attack in the E reset, that works, or you can just E straight to get over to it. For our runes, we have Lethal Tempo, Triumph, Lacrity, Coup de Grasse. You can also go for Last Stand, but in most ganks, Last Stand isn't very helpful. Coup de Grasse is better for that. Then we have Boots for Gold Efficiency and Movement Speed with Cosmic Insight, Attack Speed 80, and Health. No Leash from Uder, very cool. Love to see it. Auto Eat. End up smiting this, get a faster level 2. <laughs> nice. If we had Spin, we'd go right over that wall, but of course we don't. Spin to get to it. Our Q gives us lots of extra AD the lower on health we are. It also gives us just more AD for having a point in it. We'll save spin here. Auto E. It's going to save us a couple of autos. We're going to keep our Fury up. Because the lower on health we are, the more AD we have anyways. And the more Fury we have, the more crit we have. You're going to farm a lot slower without your Fury. Auto E. He has a pretty good radius. It doesn't go behind you, but it's 180 degrees. If you're close enough to somebody, it basically goes behind you. But you have to be really, really close. Basically on top of the target and spin away. We're going to go another point in the queue for faster clear and just focus on full clearing here. Trin does have some cheesy invades, but against most junglers, it's not going to work. You got to do it versus low damage junglers like Nunu or off meta stuff. So for the most part on Trin... Kind of full clearing is the safest way to go. Get around his relatively low HP clear, which you're incentivized to do to clear faster. We're going to auto eat. I'm going to smite it. Let's see, he's bot side. We'll ping that out for my, <clears throat> for my AD carry there. He, he didn't even finish his full clear. We'll go ahead and just... Well, I think we can actually take this real quick. He's looking for Kogma still. We might actually be able to get this. Got it. <laughs> he even flashed for it. That's hilarious. Got him with our slow. We'll ghost him down. He has flash. He's actually dead here. My spin's about to be up. I'm going to stack up my lethal tempo. Well played by Alistair. If Alistair didn't come... I'll just walk my own way. I'm going to hold on to spin since I'm still in auto range. That's a double scuttle. You'll almost never get double scuttle. You're only going to get it if the enemy jungler makes a big mess up. Only reason why I went for scuttle fight is he has flash. I have ghost. Worst comes to worst, I can run away. On top of that. On top of that, he was only level 3. I was level 4, so... Feel like I could probably fight him anyways. We both have lethal tempo. First item back. We're going to look to get as much of our uh, experimental hex play as possible. You don't see many champions go for this item. It's a little bit niche. But big ultimate champions like Trin and Nocturne get quite a bit of value out of it. Now that we've gotten through our first full clear, we should be quite a bit healthier as we farm it up here. Kind of think of Trin like a better ganking version of Shivana. He's pretty good at taking objectives, shredding them down with autos. Except he has mobility. Shimano really doesn't. It's the biggest difference. The trend dash. Trend based move speed 345 is also pretty solid. It's certainly no uh, 355 like mastery. Whenever you kill something, auto something, or crit something, you get fury. So, for example, let's say. We heal ourselves and we spin through all the raptors and they all die. We would get a crap load of fury off of that. Auto E auto. One more auto should do it, I think. Nice. We got another point in the queue and we're good to go. Let 
and the auto E. Nice. We have lots of HP. It is slowing down our clear how healthily we're farming, even though we're never really using our Q to self heal. That's more valuable for Trin Top than it is for Trin Jungle. Master is level 5, I'm level 5. I should be closer to 6 than he is, though. Could try doing something mid here. These are Oracles. Alright, here we go. This is free. I mean, Bran just has to react. She did a good job dodging that. Bran misplayed there pretty bad. He didn't land stun. He also didn't react to me being there. It is what it is. I could go through the back of the grub pit, hit six. Trin's not bad at grubs per se. We can escape through with our E if we really want to. He did, he messed up. He didn't get the Q attached. Go ahead and heal. I'll take my red buff. I was almost six. The fact that Mastery got there right when I was taking them is pretty frustrating. We'll see if Uder does something. He's probably taking the one I got low, taking the second one. He's working on the third one. Yep, imagine that. Got a lot of XP from that. The first one that you take gives you a lot of XP. Yep, he got the third one for free. Why not? It's probably six off that. And I'm six myself, though, so suppose it is what it is. He has boots, so he's faster. I do have ghost. I'll walk him down. He's probably on his blue. Yeah. He missed the bush. He really messed up there. Darius looks like he's coming on over. I can just keep moving away from the situation, I think. I think he knows he can't fight us. He's not six. Like, there's no shot for him. I could go for Diana here. Get it with the spin. Get it with smite. Then we just walk out. I mean, I have my R still. Yeah, I don't really feel like dying for this, though. Did as much as I feel comfortable doing there. And we'll pull out. It's not worth dying for. I can bait out some stuff, bait out some aggro here. We can spin, get him with the double slow. Let's look to take this scuttle. Our W does more than slow, it also removes some AD from them. Alright, cool, we got another point in Q. There's nothing I can really do here, it's also warded. This morgue's being incredibly greedy. I mean, she's perhaps baiting me into dying here. I'm getting creep blocked here very, very hard. Oh, I kind of just bumped her into me. That's all right. He saved me in the end. I'm going to heal myself just in case he gets AoE on his Q. They're trying real hard to make something happen there. I can get back at experimental on a hex plate. Stall drag on my way, I say. Ye six. They just need to stall it out. I can I can get over here and cause some chaos. I wouldn't really recommend Swifties on trend. I'm only doing it because I want to get to this drag fight. Any boot option's good for the most part. Plated mercs, berserks, Swifties. I mean, even lucids are somewhat viable. Typically, you'll lean more towards uh, Merc Treads, I'd say. Especially against like the Morph Snare. I told my teammates to stall the drag. Bran, full on committed. This is what it is. I don't have any real solid amount of Fury built up here. I do have Experimental on a Hex Plate, though. She's going to do that thing where she turns around to beat out my slow. Yeah, whatever. I mean, I have fast boots. Good luck to you, my man. Could try to bait it. Mastery has really high base movement speed. Be kind of hard to. So I hear I could heal myself, for example. And as I 
kill these guys and auto them. We're getting loads of extra fury because it's autos, kills, and crits. We can stack it up pretty quick. Go out with the spin, W, get her with the smite. She's going to phase rush. We go straight into her. We're going to heal and ghost away. We might actually escape here. Oh, no. He had flash. So he flashed an R. That's actually not bad. Besides the fact that we give up a bounty, getting his flash and R is pretty good. He's about to be bot side here, though. Yeah, he's right behind them. They could probably kite him out if Ali does it right. Yeah, he doesn't have R, so he's got nothing left. I'd say Kraken. Stride Breaker's not bad. You might say, well, why not Bork? Like I said, Bork's fine. The thing is, Kraken's cheaper. Since Kraken's cheaper and they don't really have tanks, there's no point of me going Bork here. Let's build up some Fury. I'll head into Drag Fight. He kind of has to reset. I think I have a window here to take Drag. Auto E. He's doing okay damage. A little more than an auto. I have a feeling this is warded. It's because they've been warding it so consistently. Maybe I was supposed to come sooner. I wasn't really looking for it. Got with the slow. Yeah, Kog'Maw's getting obliterated. Alright, we hit Morg with some stuff. You go and heal, get these last hits. Look how much that gives us fury. It's a loads of fury. Of course it's warded, why not? Oh, she's dead. She messed up. Got with the smite. Well, I thought she'd have black shield. Guess not. I'll go ahead and heal back. I'll take these real quick and you'll see how much fury I get. Yeah, we can get drag off that. That's huge. Whew, man. Should have it. I mean, I already have some fairy built up. He's gotten all the grubs, which kind of sucks. We're at least going to get drag. This MF's incredibly greedy. I still have R. I don't even have to use it here. Auto E. That's unfortunate. Oh, I actually just messed up my dash. Got her with my slow, though. Down she goes. There's someone else over here. She doesn't know, necessarily know I'm here. Yeah. Alistair, come on, my man. Maybe he's trying not to take the kill. I don't know. Just, he's making this chase take forever. Cool. We got the kill. <laughs> we'll take it. I'll go for Gromp. Look to kind of do a full clear. Could go fight Yi in this jungle. Definitely would win it. The issue is, is it's going to be warded. I mean, this crap. Good chance this is warded too. I'll ghost for it. MF still MF though. She's really fast. I have R, my man. I'm not even going to press W. Psych. She turned to hit me. Still had a little bit of my R duration. Not bad. I mean, we got our flash. It's actually insanely good. Pull this towards bush. They know I'm low. They know I'm in the area. This was Ward. She was reacting before she'd be able to see me. So it's one of those two bushes, if not both, is actually warded. Auto E. Crits put our E on a lower cooldown. Auto E. E's top side. He took my red buff, that little scumbag. Bag of scum. Yeah, he took everything. What a scumbag. I need Brand to land something here. Got the slow. He has no intention of landing anything, I can guarantee you that. I don't really want to fight on Harold here. I don't have red buff. He does. I don't have R. Presumably he does. Get his red buff at least. I have no clue why we're just giving up bot turret here. Yeah, 
Yeah, they're just taking it, I guess. If I have a word or something to hit. Yeah, I'll hit that. MF's full item, Morg's not. Alright, we'll spin to get to her, get her with the slow on W. She's got her back turn. Red buff auto, she's screwed. Down she goes. We don't want to steal this since Cog's here. That'd be bad manners. We can get a low form though. Leech a little bit of XP. That's acceptable. They both died. Pretty good outcome for us. I guess we're just... We have to play Draxol Wincon. We didn't get any of the Grubs or Heralds. Herald. Only one Herald this season. Auto E. Two sets of Grubs, one Herald. Down goes Cog. Ally needs to get this guy away from himself. I mean, I can't get there in time, obviously. You know, it's bad. You getting gold for free like that. Oh, maybe we can do something on top. Hit the ward once. Try to keep some fury up. Get him with a W. He loses some AD. I gave him a freaking heal there. That's bad. Auto E. I press my R. I'm going to heal myself a little early. I don't want to make the timing too tight. Got Darius R. Pretty good. My R is a low cooldown since we have Experiment on Hexplate. It's effectively 30 ability haste for our ultimate, which is pretty solid. I've got green jungle item as well. Spicy. Every jungle really hits it around level 11 because they give you treats per minute to where really no matter how little you're farming, you're going to hit finish jungle item. Might be able to do something here. Ooh, use two full items. This is a bad fight. This Bran, from what I've seen, it's probably the weakest player in the game. It'd be really dangerous to do a coin flippy play around him. It's probably not going to go our way. Next up is definitely Trinity or uh, Infinity. <laughs> After Infinity, probably Phantom for movement speed. Could still pick up a Bork, not a bad item. Or could just go Stride Break. Let's get some Fury and then we'll look to fight this. There we go, look at that. We are at 60% crit. We got the Smite E. Oh, they're all here, this is bad. He's here too for whatever reason. I can't do diddly squat. They just have their whole team. Ah, uh, it's pretty frustrating. Oh man, yeah, I don't know. I guess we can't team fight. We're really, 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 really strong right now, but the enemy is grouped up pretty well. Might have to just play some split push angle action. You can't solo us. Once we get his R, we can time him out. Since we have lethal tempo as well. Alright, got all of our fury back. Just three minions just about. So we're tied one to one dragon now. He being as fed as he is is going to be cause an issue for my team. I don't think there's any reason for me to group at this point from what I've seen. The Morgue CC, the Diana CC. Darius Hook. Plus, they also have MFR. That makes things extremely hairy. Oh, that's that's not good. I thought it was close enough to the wall there. My R was up in less than a second. Coulda, woulda, shoulda made the difference. Feels bad. Good timing by Master Yi to get there. Alistair's Merc Dread's nice. And Brand's gonna get Morg here. Nice, alright. Cog's kiting it pretty good. Darius seemed to already have been bloodlusted though. Already probably full stack passive off of uh Hmm. Wow, he didn't auto her a single time there when she came out of that. 
kind of incredible. Must have been misclicking. Got with the slow, got with smite. Just gonna phase rush. Not a huge surprise on that one. Got it. Could have R'd for extra movement speed if we really felt like we needed it. Ooh, they got Baron. Alright. See if I can pick up his red buff in time. Looks like he's on mine. Alistar just... He, Alistar could definitely win that. Down he goes. I just gotta jump away. We're chilling and grilling. Darius can't fight us. He even has plated. Oh, is he over here? I didn't see. Okay, he's not. Cool. Yeah, me and Darius are relatively equal gold spent. He had Baron buff, though. He also has plated. Plated is really good against champs like Trin. The difference is my R kind of beats his R. It's just it, This game is going to turn into who can carry harder, me or Master Yi. We'll see. We need the enemies to stop grouping so heavily. That's a big part of uh, their advantage is their team fights a lot stronger than ours. With all, with all factors kind of taken into account, of course. I don't think their comp literally, if played properly, is necessarily better in a team fight. But from what I've seen, I can just tell. If Bran had gone even, let's say he's 160 CS right now and he was playing the champ just a little bit tighter, I think he would be able to shred them pretty hard as they engage and the, the Uder slow would, Alistair CC would keep everyone at bay. Going E over. Doesn't really matter who I kill here. Oh, I almost lived too, is the sad thing. Oh my gosh, I do live. My base health regen so high. Holy crap. Got a lot of value on our ultimate there. That's insane. <laughs> they actually got punked there so hard. He's trying to slice us up. There's nothing here. It's crazy. This turret is a bounty for us. I need to heal, spin through them, get some more fury back. I actually missed cannon on that one. Run long ways through this. I could, I could go hit this top wave. I'm healed back up. Because Uder, Uder wants to get it, I guess. We need to give up that drag. Alistair. I can't tell if he's going to die or not. MF's really, really fast. I would like to just let Uder sit over here. But since Dragon's coming up, I don't think we can really uh, get away with staying. Doing what we were doing, you know. I can't go fight on Dragon while Uder's splitting. I don't think the enemies are quite sure what to do here. Gonna heal that off, and I guess we're living for now. Gonna run long way through this. Ah, oh, there's something here. She's trying to bait me. It's not worth it. She's a really, really fast character. If she hasn't taken damage from a source, she moves really, really quick. If I dash into her smiter, I could run her down. I don't know how close she has a teammate nearby. Getting Darius. Pulling her over there, I mean, that's good enough for me. That's incredible uh, pressure we're able to get off there. I'll go ahead and reset. And Bork would be huge for staying on top of Darius. The slow is 30% per one versus this. Yeah, this is way better. <laughs> Stride Breaker, it lasts for two seconds. No, 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 three seconds. It's 35% slow, and it speeds me up by 35%. That is substantially more than Bork's slow of uh, 30% per one. Ooh, it's not even a self speed up. 
if they had a big HP tank, Scion, Zac, Cho'Gath, that type of thing, then yeah, sure. I would pick up a Bork. Caught her on the turnaround. All right, cool. I got her flash. My teammates may have just gotten butchered, though. I only got MF at least. Four for one. It's not as if we completely hung our teammates out to dry, since obviously Diana was not in that fight. It just kind of is what it is. Us grouped in the team fight is only going to be so effective against what these guys have. If I can get Diana to rotate back to where I am, that's good, so they can't end. I think I'll just pick up Elixir of Wrath. Oh, Morgan messed up my man. I'm on my R as well. That's fine. I'll just leave it where it is. I don't have to kill them all here. The uh, stride breaker speed up we use there help us stay on top. I need to heal off something. <sighs> Man, Uder going on the split is just so useless. Like, who's he going to solo, right? Honestly, don't know who he's going to solo. <laughs> oh, my goodness. That's the thing. I mean, we have Trin. He's a top three, probably strong split pusher in the whole game. Up there with Nasus and uh, Jax. Then we have Udyr top trying to uh, usurp us a bit. I do have my ultimate coming up here. We could butcher the Yi. He went for Randu and sneaky move. I don't know if he's coming over here. Get my fury back up either way. I think he's just chilling in my jungle. Cross through. They have vision on me. It's a turret. I mean, I'm going to lose all my camps. That's a given. Either be to my teammates or be to Master Yi. Question is, where's Diana going to run to when she spawns? Is she going to go straight Baron? Baron's gone 100%. I might as well catch wave. Catch wave, reset. We are sitting on lower doms. It's going to let us hit super, super hard into these armor items. They're, these guys are stacking up. Funny thing about it is our team has mostly magic damage, actually. Our team is literally mostly magic damage. The Alistair, Kog'Maw. Kog'Maw's grand, like, 60% magic damage, and Brand, obviously, in the Udyr. I don't know why they're grouped top right now. They're going to lose uh, Dragon. I'm going to spin W. Oh, she messed up. Got it. That is so big for us. Mork has no business being over there. We're way too mobile for that. I have my R to deal with whoever this is. You instantly get 100 Fury off of the uh, trend uh, R. Got the stride break. Down she goes. I R it immediately just to get my Fury. Also, I don't want to risk her surprise bursting me with what she's got. I should just reset here. I mean, I can't get over there in time. Ali's on R. Literally no one's hitting Master Yi. Holy crap. You should not be tankier than Alistair on R. It's because no one was hitting him is what's going on. Got him. I'll ghost for this. She's going to try to get to Darius. We got him with the stride break. My R is about to be up. Once my R is up, this guy's a goner. Uh, my R is about to be. Hey, Morg. She got me at the snare. 
That's tough. I don't really know where they are. Got with the stride break. He barely had it. Well played to him. It might be time for me to swap off Swifties, get Mercs. I think it is. Or Phantom Dancer, maybe. More movement speed. 10% movement speed off the Phantom is... It feels kind of bad because, I mean, we have free boots and everything, but we need to be faster. Or <laughs> we just need more damage, I guess. Maybe I should have stayed on Morg. I don't know. It's hard to say. How much tenacity does this elixir give us? 25%. Can they win that fight 2v1? Nope. Well. That will we'll take it. We'll take it. A one for one trade, even if it is a 2v1. Because we're scaled. We can carry this game. Trend's a really good 1v9er. I'd say he's a better 1v9er than Yi. Yi's a better 2v8 champ. Yi Lulu's scarier than a Trindamir Lulu. But, uh, it's whatever. I'd like to get my Fury going here before I fight this guy. I don't really know who else is over here. I'd love to just walk into him. That'd be nice. Just him, though, specifically. We're moving, how fast are we moving? We're moving 397. Stride breaker. Nope. Man, how did Brand miss his Q? He wasn't even in alpha. That stinks. Yeah, he's fast. He's definitely an issue for sure. Bork might be worth it. These my I really like my build right now. I'd, I'd prefer not to to sell anything. Ideally, we could go for moral shield build. Would be good. Bloodthirst would be good. Ah, uh, Darius needs to die. I got stunned out. I'm dead. Dang. Yeah, I couldn't carry it, man. It's too much. A lot of high priority targets on the enemy team, whether it's killing Darius before he gets blood frenzied or killing the Yi. Stop his resets. That a, that's a really tough game. At the end of the day, you just can't win them all. I'm interested to see who did the most damage dealt, damage taken, and whatnot. Let's see. Looking at damage dealt against enemy champions, we actually did have the most in the game by a decent amount. For damage taken, we had also took the most in the game by a decent amount. And self-mitigated, we self-mitigated the most in the game by a little bit. Not bad. For runes high value, all in all, trend jungle is pretty crazy. If we can deal the most damage, take the most damage, self-mitigate the most damage, you are playing a ultra high value pick. Because most champions can't do that. Like, generally speaking, a tank isn't going to deal the most damage. In a game that's longer than 20 minutes, an AD carry isn't going to take the most damage in a game that lasts longer than 20 minutes. You see where I'm going here. If you guys enjoyed this Trinomir video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And let me know what champion you want to see next. My name is King Sticks. Thank you for watching, and I'll catch you guys next time.